What the hell is the London Cowboys? What is going to be the next allegation or accusation toward our owner, Todd Bowley? What the hell is going on with Chelsea? Why people hate Chelsea Football Club? Hey guys, it's Oaks. Welcome to the channel and thank you for watching. This is the topic that I didn't want to talk about because I don't want to get in trouble. But listen, many of you guys been asking me to talk about the London Cowboys. Why Todd Bowley is changing everything. Why he's trying to Americanize everything at Chelsea Football Club. So I have to talk about it. First of all, I would tell you that people don't like Chelsea Football Club. When Abramovich was there, it's all about buying trophies, oil money, bloody money, sugar daddy, blah, 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 blah. Now that they successfully stole all the money from Abramovich, they are happy and they wanted Chelsea to, to fall down and disappear. But it didn't happen. So now they have to find another way of getting on Chelsea Football Club and Chelsea fans because they're not gonna say bloody money anymore no more oil money no more banter in terms of sugar daddies and stuff now we have American money right and American money or other money were supposed to be clean money but now they are focusing on certain things just to try to get on Chelsea football club Todd Bowley can't do any good everything that he will said people are gonna make topics they're going to make a lot of money because it sells, because it's part of business. It's about getting people reactions. He suggested about, you know, the all-star game. To raise money for football, not to raise money for Chelsea or himself, but he just suggested. Because people say we don't have enough money to finance the bottom of the of the pyramid and then he was like hey during pre-season you can organize a game all the big stars in england or in the premier league can play and you raise a lot of money for football or for people who need it oh my goodness that was almost like creating the super league <laughs> according to gary neville and all those pundits that getting crazy amount of money for talking crap they are looking for a reaction they are looking for something like this you are giving them something to twist and manipulate so they can make it huge and make thousands of topics it's about money for themselves if you look at the idea behind the so-called super league aka all-star game the idea was great great idea even some of the pundits and some of the players in the past were suggesting that we have this kind of games in the Premier League. But now because this guy is from America, we can't listen to him. He's trying to change our culture, blah, 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 blah. They made it big because it's Chelsea Football Club, because it's an American bloody money. Well, they have nine sources. Phony, fake. Because they have no sources, they just make them up when there are none. I saw one story recently where they said nine people have confirmed. There are no nine people. I don't believe there was one or two people. Nine people. And I said, give me a break, because I know the people. I know who they talk to. There were no nine people, but they say nine people. And somebody reads it, they think, oh, nine people, they have nine sources. Phony. All right, people. So they come up with some stories like, oh, he wanted to play 4-4-3. They made up a story just to sell papers and try to sabotage Americans. They know nothing about football. Go play basketball and baseball. You don't know anything about football. Listen, I freaking spent more than $4 billion of my money buying a club and i can also learn <laughs> they came up with a story like oh 
he has no right to ask anything to a manager because a manager a football manager knows better than him he doesn't know anything so he has no right to have any kind of information or tell me what to do that what the narrative was i'm like i just spent my money you understand i bought this freaking club and i am paying you millions you are multi-million because of my pocket money so you have to tell me what's going on so i can learn so they make some kind of stories depending on the owner of course the narrative is going to change now they are talking about the london cowboys who came up with the news we don't know some sources online that started uh those kind of narrative and then everybody copied and passed oh yeah you are bringing the america we are changing the name because why because they know they can manipulate people they know that if you put something against chelsea or against the owner now people are gonna read it's gonna trend it's gonna make us money so let's bring some stupidity like london cowboys todd ball is knows about english culture english football he's been studying it long before even he bought chelsea football club he was going to buy chelsea like five years ago abramovich said no you're not gonna buy my club i'm here to stay so the guy knows something about football and even if you don't know how long it takes you to learn about a sport you have to be 100 years old i don't know because they are kids today like they started supporting football or soccer like two years ago but they know something about it so i don't have the right to talk about it just because i know nothing about it wow what next next allegations it's gonna be oh he's bringing cheerleaders in the team or he's he, he's bringing the american culture of selling beers and hot dogs in the stadium what is going to be the next allegation even the things that are done right now in England, if Todd Bowley mentioned them, it's going to be like, oh, he's trying to change. But brother, it been there. That's what we do. But just because Todd Bowley said something, it's going to be like he's bringing a new culture in the English game, trying to change our game. This guy is coming to ruin us. Hello, I'm not ruining you. I'm just making you more money to finance your football and i'm not getting anything from it kind of so people next thing you know is he's gonna be accused of bringing halftime shows okay cheerleaders in the stadium but crystal palace already got cheerleaders right what todd Bowley is trying to do is he's trying also to revol revolutionize also football because of the new generation new generation don't watch football anymore they follow big stars so to get something to get their attention you might have to create some new things that can be good for the new generation so people are living in like the stone age but somebody need to suggest something there's nothing todd Bowley is doing wrong here <laughs> So, my people, stay calm. Stay calm because those accusations are not true. Todd Bowley is not trying to change Chelsea's name. He knows what that means. He's not trying to create another Super League. And the all-star game, he suggested it to, 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 to found, to take the money and found the people in need it's not like the the money he's gonna put in his pocket he knows changing the name of chelsea football club will even create a lot of issues and you can't even change the name the name is owned by ground whatever the pitch association the name is owned by chelsea fans i am part of that i own part of Stamford bridge because you can buy you can buy and be the pitch owner at Stamford Bridge. It doesn't cost a lot of money. So me, yeah, I owned because I paid for it. You can own it too. So you can't change Stamford Bridge. You can't also change the name. 
it's not going to happen ever. But people will try to make stories to sell newspapers, to try to get on Americans because Americans sell. And there is overall anti-American sentiment all over the world. And on top of that, when you come and try to touch their football, you're going to be in trouble.